The desktop film is a genre of filmmaking wherein the narrative of the film takes place within the confines of a computer screen. The earliest example of this was Internet Story, which was directed by Adam Butcher in 2010. This is a true story about the Internet. Let me show you. On the 22nd of April 2005, an entity going by the name of Al One publishes a website claiming that he's buried £9,000 somewhere in the UK. The film offers a glimpse back into the early days of the modern internet. One characterized by vlogs with mere dozens of views, flash animations, and what the director refers to as Google searches that lead to, quote, rabbit holes into strange places. In 2011, we had the documentary uh, Fragment d'une révolution, which was about the protests in the Middle East at the time. This does not quite stick to the genre as it's mostly shot from off screen, but it's an early example, so I'm going to count it. The next year, Joe Swanberg directed a segment for the horror anthology series at EHS. He chose to tell his story through a Skype call. While pretty simplistic by most desktop film standards, it is still a notable example and one of the first ones in the mainstream. Emily, what the fuck is that? Don't do that. That might be a spider bite, you know what you hear about? That's an urban legend. That's not real. Emily, look at me. And finally, in 2013, a short film came out that has, since then, defined the genre, its narrative techniques, and its design tendencies. Its name was Noah. More than any film before or since, Noah showcases the true potential of the entire genre by laying bare on the screen the way that young people today communicate and consume information. Oh, Hello? I don't see you. Oh. Where are you? There you are. Oh, hey. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, what are you doing? It is scattershot and hard to follow, much like life today. I was just looking at these. After this film's release, it won many awards and served as the basis of inspiration for many more imitators to come. After the success of Noah, there were many more filmmakers taking a stab at the desktop film. Notably, the creators of Modern Family were inspired by Noah when they set out to create the episode Connection Lost for their sixth season. You're not doing laundry, are you? God, no. I'm about to, if I'm supposed to. No, no, don't, don't. But can you vacuum out the dryer vent before I get home? I will absolutely do that. Thanks. I can't get in touch with Haley. I a year prior, Bloomhouse Productions and Universal Pictures put out a feature film that followed the tenets of the desktop film, or what the producer calls the screen movie. The film, like most horror films, received mixed reviews, but it is a testament to having a gimmick and sticking through it to the end. In 2013, Nick Breeze made his experimental critique that, of that Apple error. Computers in the aptly titled Apple Computers. Is there, I mean, I've heard the video is a criticism of forced obsolescence for, uh, and the stranglehold on, Apple on has iPhone, on iPad, the, quote, default art with, computer. Um, intellectual property before... Hawks Party exists, exists to uh, create digital tools for our digital lifestyles. And finally, in 2014, we have what is, in my opinion, the pinnacle of the genre, Transformers the Premake from Kevin B. Lee. This world is a deep dive into the world of the mega-budget blockbuster, how they're marketed, and how they're made. 
the film is not just simply a criticism of Transformers 4, but Hollywood at large and the way that movies are made nowadays. Okay.